Hello, I'm Dr. Gordon Short, founder with my wife, Lavina of Brevis Corporation. Several years ago, a nurse casually mentioned that she wished someone would make a wheelchair with an IV pole. That's common now, but it wasn't then. But that was enough to get my overactive brain to wondering about the possibility of redesigning an overbed table to be a multifunctional appliance that would solve a number of problems regarding patient comfort, room space economy, and nursing efficiency and convenience. Having designed a commercially successful $25,000 surgical pathology workstation and other widgets over the past 40 years, I figured I had the chops to tackle this simple project. I was wrong about the simple part, but after 42 iterations with help from others, including my son Barry, we came up with a full-size prototype which we would like to demonstrate to you. So this is an overbed table. I think that should be fairly obvious. And it has several features that are a little bit different from the typical hospital overbed table. In the first place, of course, it goes up and down. And in this case, it's a rechargeable battery that operates an actuator that can raise the table up to whatever height is desired. There are some other features that you should be aware of. In the first place, of course, this area here is large enough to handle the larger sizes of food trays, and it has a raised rim around it so, so that a patient doesn't accidentally think he, he or she is pushing the, the, the table away when, in fact, they're just pushing the uh, tray and spilling it on themselves. So in order for the food tray to get centered over the patient, this part slides out. Anyway, what that does is to reveal another little space here that can be used by a nurse or whoever to uh, start an IV or do whatever is uh, needed. And, and that's a convenient little space. Also, you'll notice these areas here. This is a little storage space for the patient's convenience. And of course, there's a mirror. Okay, so that's an overbed table. Now, this incidentally is an IV stand and it's d double, so you can have uh, two of them and big enough, heavy enough to handle infusion pumps. The infusion pumps can plug into this receptacle here, and what's not shown in this prototype, but would be in the real product, is a USB receptacle also. Now we've seen an overbed table, which isn't all that different. How does it become something more? Well, it can tilt up like this, and immediately you can see that this is a chair. And so this is a patient transport chair, but it's convenient because every room now has a wheelchair, which are often in rather short supply. It's designed in such a way that when a patient backs into the space here for the feet, the heels will hit the back of this cutout space at the same time the legs hit the front of the chair and the armrests are right convenient for the hands to grab a hold of. So there is one other little feature that you might miss and that is there's a place here to hang a Foley catheter bag. Now in addition to that, <laughs> underneath there's a bin and that bin is for carrying whatever needs to be carried. This could be used as a walker if a patient has an IV going particularly, they could just push this along <coughs> like a grocery cart. You'll notice that in the front, there are tandem casters. Now the rear casters are a little bit different. They're obviously larger, so they don't need to be tandem. And they have two pedals here. One of them is a swivel lock. So that 
lever that you can push down will lock the caster so it doesn't swivel anymore, which makes it more like a grocery cart if you're pushing this down the hallway. The other pedal there, the red one, is a, a total lock. So that locks the wheel and the swivel, and everything is, uh, is safe then for uh, transferring a patient to a car or whatever. Also, you'll notice that these arms retract, and of course, that makes it possible for the patient to transfer to a bed or to whatever else uh, they might need to transfer to. Another feature here, which is a receptacle for an oxygen bottle, and that will take the largest size of oxygen bottle that I commonly see in hospitals. That basically concludes this demonstration. A patent has been applied for, but will probably not be examined until the end of the year. I am 87 years old, and if I had any sense, I would have let them put me out to pasture a long time ago. Nevertheless, while this has been a pet project, I have taken it as far as my energy will allow. I am hoping that the ideas shown here will seem useful enough to be commercialized and will attack a proper manufacturer and customers. Thank you for your attention.